give the call of the member for Oxley. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I rise to brief the parliament on a roundtable that I hosted last Tuesday to support veterans in my local community with the member for Kingston and shadow minister for veterans affairs. I, like every other member of this parliament, is committed to supporting veterans groups, particularly on the issue of mental health and veteran suicide. It was a timely meeting, Madam Deputy Speaker, after the nation paused to commemorate Remembrance Day on the Friday before, and I was honoured to attend the national ceremony here in Canberra, along with my friend, the member for Canberra. Representatives from each of Oxley's RSL sub-branches attended the round table, and I thank the Centenary, Dara Semenko, Goodner and Red Bank RSLs for their attendance and the excellent work they do in advocating for veterans. Veterans were able to tell their story, and I, along with the member for Kingston, were very happy to listen. Their stories and experiences provide invaluable knowledge on how we can and must better support our local veterans. I'd also like to thank Peter Mapp and Ted Fotek for accompanying us to inspect the proposed site of the Anzac Cove Memorial at the Dara Semenko Bowls Club, a major upgrade at this important local institution. I thank the president of the Springfield Light Tower Association, Damien Gillette, and past president Ralph Braden for giving us a close look at, vet at Australia's first digital defence memorial, which I'm proud to say is located in the southwest suburbs of Brisbane. Madam Deputy Speaker, as the son of a World War II veteran, I'll always support our veterans, and particularly those who call Oxley home. <laughs>